Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Pixelmon guy here on the channel. I figured I'd take a break from the 1.20 content today and head back to what I'm good at, and that's Pixelmon. So today we're going to be making a guide on pretty much the best and easiest way to encounter Paradox Horn Pokemon in Pixelmon. Now that we are in 9.1.5, we can encounter Pixelmon that are Paradox Forms in the sense of Iron Thorns, Iron Moth, and Slitherwing. Those are the only three currently in the uh pixelmon pokedex that you can encounter so i'm going to go over today the best way to find them and go from there of course if you guys have been enjoying the guys on the channel leave a like subscribe if you're new because not a lot of people that watch my guys are subbed and let's get right into this so you're probably asking yourselves austin why are you in the end and why is the ender dragon here well the first thing you're going to want to do to be able to encounter paradox form pokemon is go to the end where i am right now you're gonna make your way to the end and once you are in the end you are going to ignore everything on this main island you don't even have to fight the ender dragon just make sure you have a flying mount and fly directly off into the distance that's right how to encounter the uh, extra end area without finding the ender dragon is just flying off into the distance and eventually you will encounter oh there's actually a max raid den there that's pretty funny and eventually you will encounter the regular end uh area that normally you would have to defeat the ender dragon to get the portal and ender pearl into to unlock but this way is a lot easier because you can just straight up fly over there there it is there is the place we are looking for now paradox form pokemon such as the three in question do not spawn on the mainland area here if i hit f3 you will notice it says i am in the end highlands they spawn in the small end isles so what you're going to want to do is go over here you see all these floating islands right here you see all these floating islands you'll notice now if i look under my biome I am there, the small end islands. This is where they appear. Now, to maximize them spawning, you're going to want to do what we did back in the day to get Mew to spawn, and that is increase the platforms. So literally, just grab up blocks, make sure it's endstone blocks, because I believe they have to spawn on endstone, and just place them out like this. You can get them from the mainland islands, and just build bridges build pathways as long as it still says on your f3 that you are in the small end islands they can spawn and i've actually done this on my pixelmon survival let's play as well if you guys want to check it out and we were able to get one to generate from doing this tactic so and also while you're doing this it will just make pokemon spawn another thing you can do is obviously just the normal refresh the spawns defeat the pokemon keep getting more to spawn because if i do slash check spawns right now and look as you can see, Slitherwing 0.47% chance, Iron Thorn 0.47% chance, Iron Moth 0.47% chance. Now that means regardless of where I am right now, they have a that percent chance of appearing. You can either, like I said, keep defeating the Pokemon or just increase the path that which these Pokemon can spawn at. Now, a, a few bits of concern, Iron Thorns and Slitherwing will not be much of an issue here, but Iron Moth, since it is a flying Pokemon, when it does spawn in, it will literally just start flying away. So you're going to want to just keep an eye out for Iron Moth specifically. And again, if you are over here, it will not make the Pokemon spawn. There is a chance they can spawn, of course, on the islands if you're near enough that it would cause the, the generation to load or the chunks to load, then sure. But otherwise, your best chance of getting them to spawn is just, like I said, keep building out platforms. Make sure it also small end islands the entire time. I cannot stress that enough. Otherwise, they what's the point of even being there? and there is a chance of them appearing other than that there's really no other way to get them to spawn right now i don't know if they can spawn in the max raid dens i'm not sure and i'm also fully aware that it does not announce when the paradox pokemon spawn it will not say like a, a iron thorns has spawned in the small islands if they aren't legendary pokemon they do not get that announcement so your only chance of encountering them is literally just sitting by waiting for them to appear and then going off and catching them but guys, if this was helpful to you all, if this gave you any bits of insight you didn't know, consider leaving a like on this guide, subscribing if you're new. If you want a more in-depth guide of Iron Thorn, Slitherwing, or Iron Moth specifically, I will have them linked in the top right-hand corner. I've done individual guides on each one of them, and everything, all the information you need about them should be listed there as well. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe for new. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Have a great day, everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye.